Chef Freaky here, we're back with a brand new Minecraft Pocket Edition video. And in today's video, I will be showing you how you can make a working lawnmower in Minecraft Pocket Edition, Bedrock Edition, whatever you want to call it, just like the one I have behind me. So let's get right into today's video. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to show you is how this thing actually works. So if I get some bone meal and bone meal the whole area around the lawnmower, just like so, and then what I have to do in order to make this thing actually start activating and actually cutting the grass is I have to just hold this diamond pickaxe and it automatically teleports right to me just like that. And I can just walk in front of me and it'll automatically start chopping the grass just like so. And I don't think it cuts the large ferns or not, but I believe it does. Yes, it does cut the tall grass. So if it cuts tall grass and normal size. Oh, I just got a seed in my inventory. Uh, so if I don't hold the diamond pickaxe, we can just go ahead. It'll stop working and open the hopper. And we have two seeds. You can just collect them, add them to your collection, just like that. Uh, so yeah, that's how the, the lawnmower actually works. Now I'm going to show you how you can build this thing in your own Minecraft world. Okay, so the first step to making this lawnmower is we're going to fly up at least one block above the ground and type in this command. We're going to type in slash summon hopper underscore minecart minecart and then we're going to type in three squiggly lines just like so so that is the first step uh to making the lawnmower uh as you can see we have the minecart down just like this now let me go ahead and show you what other steps are needed to make this thing work Okay, so here's the time where you might want to pause the video because here are the items that you're going to need uh, for this tutorial. So you're going to need some armor stance, an anvil for naming some name tags uh, that we're going to be using. Are you going to be needing a stick or a blaze rod? Uh, e either one is fine uh, just for what kind of handles uh, you want on your lawnmower. Uh, you're going to need a name tag named A, one named B, one named C, and also one named D. Uh, you can name them using an anvil and uh, we also are going to be needing a command block which we can get by typing in slash give at p command underscore block into the game chat and let's just go ahead hit enter and we have our command block okay so after you have all your items you're going to make sure you're facing this front side of the minecart not this side you're going to make sure you're facing this side of the minecart and place down one two, three, four armor stands and name each one a different name. So you're going to name this one A, this one's going to be B, this one's going to be C, and this one's going to be D, just like that. And then what you're going to do next is make sure that you have the right, you have to pose uh, this armor stand. So here, let me just pose. You have to pose it in the right pose. So we're just going to go ahead and click it until it gets into the right pose. Uh, you want to make sure that it's posed like this with the two arms stretched out straight like this You don't want to have them like spread apart. Uh, make sure it's in this pose And uh, we're just gonna go ahead and equip this one with a stick or a blaze rod Oh, I just broke it after you got the stick in its hand You just want to go ahead onto the armor stand B and equip it with a stick as well and Pose it until you get the exact same pose as the one to the left of it you have to wait. Okay, so we have the same pose. Now it's time to add in our command blocks. Okay, so after you named your armor stands, the next step we're going to do is place down our command block and type in this command, execute at E name equals A, equals A, and then we're going to do three squiggly lines just like so. Whoop three squiggly lines, and then we're going to do TP at E name, oh, I messed up, TP at E, you need a space there, TP at E name equals B, and then we're going to do a squiggly line, and then we're going to do 0 0.8, and another two squiggly lines, just like so, and that's the command, if you uh, missed anything I'll leave all the commands in the description uh, down below if you need to check on them again uh, See what they are. So this is the command and we're just going to put the command block on repeat and Always active and what you should see is this 
armor stand B should have moved a tiny bit closer to armor stand A because uh, those are going to be the handles for the lawnmower. Next command is this. So we're just going to place down our command block and type in uh, execute at E type equals hopper minecart. So equals, if I could find it, equals hopper underscore minecart. And then we're going to do three squiggly lines just like so. And another TP at E and then beginning bracket name equals A and bracket and then two squiggly lines spaced out from each other. And this is going to be negative zero. 0.8 and then we're going to do another squiggly line and then negative 0 0.95 just like that and we're just going to put this on repeat and always active so the next thing you want to do is equip armor stand c with a helmet of your choice it can be any color you want i, de I decided to dye it red uh, so the next command block for this is you're going to type Whoops, you're going to type in execute at E type type equals hopper minecart just like so. Type equals hopper minecart. Oh, I have to and add that and then do three squiggly lines and then do TP TP at E name equals c and then we're going to do squiggly line space squiggly line and then we're going to do negative 1.1 and then space another squiggly line just like that and then we're going to go ahead and click repeat and always active just like that and it should teleport that right oh whoops it should teleport that right onto the middle of the lawnmower. We're about halfway done with the lawnmower. The next step is going to be adding a handlebar to the lawnmower. So we're gonna equip that with a stick or a blaze rod, whatever one you like better. Uh, and then we're going to make sure this is in a certain pose. So we have to pose this one just like this. Oh, I just had it, I missed it. Okay, so it has to look exactly like this okay like this so the stick has to be kind of horizontal like this for the handlebar of the lawnmower then we're going to go ahead and get our command block another one and type in execute at e and this is your armor stand uh the one that's named e, uh the one that's named d so we're going to do at e type equals hopper minecart extend that and then we're going to do three squiggly lines just like so TP at E name equals D and then N bracket and then we're going to do a squiggly line 0 0.5 under space another squiggly line and then space and one more squiggly line and then we're going to do negative 1.3 and after we do that we're just going to x out of it put it on repeat and always active and that should make the handlebar for the lawnmower so let's go ahead and see and look at that so we have our our uh handlebar made out of a stick it's kind of on an angle here but that's okay because of the limitations of minecraft we can only have it on an angle just like that. I'm sure if you were to mess around with the teleport command a little bit more, you could have it go on a certain angle to make it perfectly straight. Okay, so after you have the handlebar added onto the lawnmower, you're gonna make the mechanism that actually makes this thing teleport to you and actually cut grass and stuff like that. Uh, so we're going to type in, in our other command block, we're going to type in enchant at P efficiency efficiency one and then we're going to put that on repeat always active this is going to uh tell the lawnmower so whenever you're holding a pickaxe in your hand it's going to do something uh, so we're going to go ahead and get our redstone comparator place it right here 
and then get another command block. And this one's going to say, oh, whoops, I placed it wrong. This one, okay, place it facing up. Let me see if I can do that. Okay, this one's going to say, execute at P, uh, wherever the player is standing, the closest player is standing, and they're going to do TP at E type equals minecart, hopper minecart, hopper type equals hopper underscore minecart and then after we have that and bracket and then we're going to do one squiggly line space another squiggly line and then one more and then we're going to do 2.0 you might be able to just do two but i just decided to do 2.0 for some reason uh let's put that on repeat but do not put it on always active because we only want it active when you're holding the pickaxe in your hand. So let's go ahead and see if this thing works. I'm going to go ahead and grab my pickaxe. Let's see. Grab my pickaxe. My diamond pickaxe. And I'm going to go ahead over here. And see if it actually teleports to me. Okay, so it actually does work. It teleports to you just like that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can make this thing actually cut grass. So we're getting really, really close to finishing this thing. The only step we have left is to make this thing actually cut grass. So we're going to make uh, two repeating commands stacked up on top of each other just like this. They're going to be repeating always active, but we have to type something in, in them first. So this command is going to be for telling the a lawnmower to cut grass so we're going to do execute at e type equals hopper minecart oh whoops spelled it okay ended it too early hopper minecart then we're going to do three squiggly lines like we've been doing and then i'm just going to extend that and then do detect three more squiggly lines just like this and then we're going to do detect tall grass one set block so wherever the minecart is if it detects a tall grass it's going to uh, set a block of air and then we're going to do destroy so it destroys it whenever it hovers over the grass block and it breaks it as if it's in survival mode so you get you have a chance of getting that small amount of seed so we're going to put that on repeat and always active and then we have our next command so this command is going to be execute at e type equals hopper underscore minecart just like so end bracket three more squiggly lines just like this and then we're going to do detect detect wherever it is three more squiggly lines and then do double underscore plant so we're, it's going to be detecting a double plant with the data value of two, and then we're going to do set block, three more squiggly lines. So we're setting the block wherever it is, and then we're going to do air, data value of zero, and then destroy. When you put destroy at the end of it, it's just telling you that you have a small chance of getting a seed uh, when you break it, because when you break things in survival mode, you actually get the item that it drops. So we're going to put this on repeat and always active. So I did have time to bone meal the entire area around the lawnmower because we only need two more steps in order to complete this. I know we're getting really, really close to the end of this tutorial. So the last two commands we're going to do is slash effect at E type equals armor stand. then end bracket and then we're going to do invisibility 
because we don't want them to show up when you're actually using it. And then we're going to do 9999, which means it's invisible forever, basically. And we're going to put one at the end of it. And then after you do that, you should see the armor stands disappear. And we only need one more command. And that is to actually make the game chat stop spamming you. So we're going to do game rule slash game rule command block output put output false so after you do that you should see the game chat stop spamming you up with all the command block output and uh let's go ahead and see if this thing actually works so i just teleported it to me and look at that guys look how awesome that is we're actually cutting the grass in minecraft pocket edition this is just something really really awesome that you can have in your minecraft world i actually want to see how many seeds we have inside of our lawnmower so if i go over here click open we actually have four seeds in our lawnmower already so again this is actually really useful for a survival mode oh you can actually use this for harvesting seeds and use them for your farm and stuff like that so if you have a survival world this will be pretty useful except you have command blocks of course so you won't get achievements but still really really awesome so that is how you make a working lawnmower in minecraft pocket edition hopefully you guys enjoy today's video uh, if you want to make a tutorial on this on your own Minecraft YouTube channel, feel free to do so. Just make sure you give me some credit because the design took me a really long time to come up with. And yeah, that is how you make the working lawnmower. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't yet. And I will see you all in the next Minecraft Pocket Edition video. Bye!